Hello, stage four trumpeters. How are you doing? Hopefully you managed to do some of your work at home. Um, it'll be good to see you back next week. Today we're going to be looking at um, particularly the lessons in your book. We're going from lesson 57 or piece 57 up to 62. So if you can open your book, make sure you get your instrument out, <coughs> then we can get into it. First of all, we're going to do some warm-ups. Our warm-up today is particularly using our embouchure, our lips. All right, so we're going to start going again. Just get a nice sound out there. Blow plenty of air. All right, don't hold the air back. Don't try and squeeze the lips. Don't. All right, but just so plenty of air. After you get a nice sound going with that, then try and change the pitch of that. All right, so we're changing that pitch of the sound. All right. After we've done that, take your mouthpiece out and we're going to play a couple of pieces of mouthpiece. Play a note. Alright, now just change the pitch. Okay, that's part of your warm up. We're going to now do um, a warm up we're going to learn or play all the notes you've learned so far. So, so far you've learned C up to an A, right? You should have learned that. So, our C, open, all right. We're playing a nice long note, get a nice sound out of it. D. E. and down that scale, one beat per note. All right, so after four. One, two, three, go. If you need to stop the video at any time, then stop it and um, go over that scale so that those fingerings are natural to your hands. All right, so we're going from the C up to the A. All right, we're looking at number 57 in the book. The particular thing we're starting new is quavers. So a quaver is worth, there are two quavers in every crotchet, so it's worth half the length of a crotchet. So if I'm counting crotchets, one, two, three, quavers are twice as fast, one and two and three and four and, ba, 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 all right? So there are two quavers for every crotchet. Look at number 57. From the beginning we see our treble clef, we see our 4-4 four, four time, which means we're gonna count it in four crotchets per bar. Our rhythm for that first bar is crotchet, quaver, quaver, crotchet, crotchet, rest. So it goes ta, 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 rest. Or, And that same rhythm happens a fair bit in this piece. Let's play the, play the piece through. 57, from the beginning, try and play it with me. If you can't play it with me, listen to it, follow the notes, and then go back, stop the video, go back and try and play it a few times by yourself. Let's go, after four. One, two, three, go. <laughs> followed the notes that were being played and tried to play along with me. All right, you'll notice there's also repeats at the end of these lines, at the end of these pieces. You get to repeat it yourself. I don't have time to repeat them in this. Number 58, again, you're playing the B part, so you don't have the main melody. You'll notice the first full bar is all rest. 
So it's a semi breathe rest, four beats rest. So I'm going to count you in and then we're going to have four beats rest. Count in. One, two, three, four. Bar one, two, three, four. Rest. Rest. Two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one. One, two. Excellent. Again, if you're having some trouble with it, stop the video, go over it a few times, learn those notes, and then go through the video again with me. Alright, ten little Indians. Number 59. After four. One, two, three, go. Again, you're playing the B part, so it doesn't sound like the melody, but when we get the band together, it probably will. All right, number 60. Again, like uh, 58, you are playing the B part and you rest at the beginning. So, after four. One, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. The other thing you'll notice in number 60 is that we have a crescendo of a bars 9 and 10. So it means you get a little bit louder through 9 and 10. So we're starting at mezzo forte at the beginning. When we get to the end, we should be at forte. So we're starting moderately loud and we get louder at the end. Number 61 uses that. So we have a crescendo, we start at mezzo piano, have a crescendo going up to forte. So starting moderately soft, going up to loud. And we have that all the way through the piece for those three times. Number 61. One, two, three, go. Excellent, how'd you go with that? Hopefully at least put in those crescendos. We're going to finish with number 62, and you're going to be practicing these by yourself for a fair bit, I hope. Alright, number 62. After four. One, two, three, go. I hope you learned something today. I hope you're actually managing to play these pieces and getting those notes out. Um, remember when you're practicing, look at uh, when the Saints go marching in and the um, power rock, the two pieces you've got, so we can play them in the band. Um, they're actually reasonably easy if you can get them going. Thank you, hope to see you next week. Um, have a good time this week. Thanks guys, bye.